Hi Tech family, welcome to eTech Viral. We have started course of the Solidity programming language. We will cover all the fundamentals of the Solidity language in this course. So if you are fully beginner, most welcome to this course because we are going to cover all the things from scratch. All right, first let me introduce you to the Solidity programming language. Solidity is object oriented programming language. Using Solidity, we write the smart contracts. The smart contracts are the programs which govern the behavior of the accounts within the Ethereum stat. How it govern the behavior of the accounts within Ethereum stat, everything will be clear to you later in this course. You may be seen or heard, everyone says the language Solidity looks like JavaScript. However, it's neither because JavaScript runs on a browser, it modifies mutable or we can say changeable data structures. Like anytime when you made mistake, you can easily go back and repair your data. But in case of blockchain, I'm saying blockchain just because when a smart contract deployed, it runs on thousands of nodes that has peer-to-peer -peer connection with each other. Like you cannot do anything here and cannot make any changes in here. You have to write quality code for that. We are going to cover many topics in this course. But first, we will look at the IDE of the Solidity because that's most important step. And then we will explore the IDE. The topics we are going to cover are stat variables, functions, the function modifiers, data types, events, errors, and the transfer between different accounts. These are the topics to cover. But let's not think we are gonna have only seven videos in place. We are gonna have many videos of these topics because every topic has its subtopic and we will make separate videos on these topics and their subtopics. I'm very excited to teach you all these things in the latest version of the Solidity. Do not miss any single video. Be sure you have subscribed to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that YouTube will remind you even when the video is uploaded. Next video will be here. For now, goodbye and see you in that video.